Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here, say it with me, just in time. That is right, it's Friday. And that means it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. You see, we're, we're, we're in Yappy's kitchen. She's not here right now. Shh, don't tell her. Anyway. We got a couple of, we, we've got a few really cool products we're gonna be working with on this video. And I'm in the kitchen because this is the in the kitchen edition of Friday's Finds. And we're gonna start off with a sponsored product sent to us by Vin Chef. Uh, I, that was pretty easy to say. Vin Chef. This is, so let's, 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 let's open it up and take a look. So this is a German Greblon, 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 non-stick coating saute pan. It's like 12 inches. So let's, let's open her up and take a look and see what we got inside. Yappy's gonna, Yappy's gonna be happy about this one. It's a nice, nice package. That would make a great gift. We're kind of missing a handle. Oh, there's there's some assembly required, I see now. All right. Let me let me put this thing together and we'll take a look at it. I gotta I gotta read the instructions. I'll be back! This little white box contained the handle. I, I thought at first that was that was a wood handle, but it's actually not a wood handle. Then it's pretty easy to put on. You just need a, a Phillips screwdriver. And it fits right in there like, like so. This is gonna make Yappy so happy. We've been talking about needing a new saute pan. Now the Greblon coating, I was reading, reading the manual, the Greblon coating, it's like the next level up over your, your typical non-stick coating, the Teflon, that black stuff. It does require uh, oil. You kinda, kinda gotta do a little seasoning. You put a little oil on there and get it hot uh, before you use it. You don't wanna put it in the dishwasher. The, the handle's plastic. It's not really good for the coating. So I've already kind of seasoned this one. So let's go put it on the stove and see what we can do with some cheese. That's for this edition of Fried Days Fines. When you're cooking, you don't want to use metal in here. That's why you need wooden utensils. Now I found these, these are actually teak. I don't remember the brand name, but I just bought them for Yappy because she was needing this needing this for the cast iron cooking we're doing but you can see the difference this is what it looks like after you put it in the dishwasher this is what it looks like when it arrives so anyway i want to see what happens when we melt cheese in this melted cheese you know burnt cheese is hard to get off I, mean, I, I think I'm going to be able to convince Yappy to cook a meal this evening using this pan. Not only are we going to melt it and burn it, but then I'm going to let this cool. And we'll see how it comes off. Because you can see it's just, it's just rolling right up. Alright, so... I'm going to melt that completely and then let it cool and we'll come back and take a look and see how well that peels off. We're going to move to the next product for this in the kitchen edition of Friday's Finds and we are so excited about it. Membrane Solutions has returned to Friday's Finds. This is brand new. Nobody else has seen this. This is, according to the box, stainless steel gravity water filter system. 
Model U3. That's rather heavy. I know what that goes to. Just like that. It appears to be a knob. It's probably a knob to go on top of that. That's weighty. That weighs, that weighs several pounds. They reached out to me and said, we got this brand new thing. Are you interested? I said, but, but, but of course. Three cartridges. Lots of lots of parts. It says free gift. I don't know what that is. So let me edu let, let, let me educate myself and I'll be back. I'm very impressed. So what, what I'm impressed about. So the, the free gift is part of the UV san that's what I said, UV sanitation module. So that's UV sanitation sanitizer right there. And you've got a, a couple of different ways to power it. You can plug it into the little transformer. You can plug it into a power supply. You can put in some batteries and operate it that way. In addition to the UV sanitation, this is pretty dang amazing. It's like 0 0.01 micron carbon tubes. You have three of them. They do require some priming, so this is what that little disc is for. You pop it out of the package, you take that off, you put this donut on there, and you hold it up against the faucet, and you prime this cartridge so that it flushes out the dust. Have a rubber thing that goes on the bottom, keeps it from sliding around, and then it just it nests. And the cartridges go in here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get it primed up, and we're gonna we're gonna have some water. When you're priming that filter, just know the the first time you're probably gonna get sprayed. <laughs> Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. Just barely push that on and hold that, and yeah, it, it doesn't take as much pressure as I thought it would. We're all assembled except for the power supply. It is recommended in the instructions, they recommend that if you're actually not immediately using the UV, if, if you're not immediately using the UV part of it, to turn that off. So just don't leave it, don't leave it on, you'll, you'll burn it out. So the water, I, I filled it up. And we're filtering. So while that's going on, gotta go to the other side of the kitchen. Nothing has nothing is stuck. So now I gotta, I gotta get it washed up so that Yappy can cook some supper when she gets home. So, yep. so can, here we go. We're gonna test out this pan while I'm cooking the rest of dinner. And 
Dude is gonna let the dog out and we'll get some olive oil butter in here. Get it going. Bye, Tex. Take Tex out. Tex. He's with me, he needs to go. Give her we have a sick pup, so. Come on, buddy. All right, here we go. Let's see what this thing will do. I'm really, I really like this because it has this handle. It's wood, now you do have to install it. It has a silicone um, trim that you can cook. This is not oven friendly, so that's the only thing. You can't pop this in the oven, and that's okay. And I have not, this is my first time using it, so we're gonna test it. And we're only using the butter for flavor. I think you could do this with water, but we're doing shrimp, so we're gonna test it out. Okay, here we go. See how this thing does. Ooh, nice. All right. Add a little bit of salt. Let's do I had thawed shrimp with some lemon. Very interesting. I'm kind of excited about this pan. I've got the UV filter on. You see the little red light? air bubbles in it. No smell. Tastes like filtered water. Since this is the in the kitchen edition of Friday's Finds, we might as well jump to the next product. It's a, another sponsored product from Sensoret. Here. Sensarte? Sensarte. 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 This is actually a crepe pan. Now, I've never cooked crepes before. I, I guess I'm going to have to learn how to cook some crepes. Let's take a look. Okay. Good. Nice. Let me. We're gonna have some crepes for breakfast. Woo! On, cooked on the Sensarte crepe pan. And we've got our crepe mix ready to go. I'm not sure if we're gonna need the, the tool. I think there's enough crepe for you, dude, for breakfast, even if it's a pile of 15 different designs. <laughs> you know, you could put vanilla in the crepe mixture, too. This is good as fluffy. Since we're not entertaining, it doesn't matter what they look like. We're, we're just eating Yeah, them. we're just eating them. Okay, it worked. Here we go. Now, let's do eggs. Cross fingers. Do you want to put any butter on there? No, we're going to cook We're going to test it. Okay, we're going to see if it works. Just like it is. Okay, start the microwave for 30 more seconds for your sausage, because once we're done, we're done. All right, here we go. Egg. And we have the dogs helping us, too. Okay, we'll see how this works. Now, this was the test right here, right? If this works, this is a 100% super find. Okay. Got it on below medium just so those interiors cook. Dude, might have to flip it. I think about time to flip. Yep. Okay. He actually likes them over. Now, the only thing with eggs is this is not a flipping pan because I used to flip eggs in restaurants. You will have to flip the egg. <laughs> it's not quite there. We can't. We don't have enough runny going. Getting there. 
So not perfect, I don't think. For I think a flip pan is easier, but it's it's doing good for a backup, guys. I think if that was a little harder, that would have that would have skimmed over. Give your sausage 15 more seconds. But it's not it's not the same as a saute pan. I think that still is a little bit better. I might have to flip these because this is a little. But these are dude's egg, not mine, so I'll let him decide. I think I'm going to need to flip a little more just to warm that up. What do you think? Oh. Okay, it's your eggs. Oh, yeah, you can have sunny side up, so you tell me when you think you're here. You want to wrap the crepe in with the sausage? How do you want to do this? Do you want me to chop that up? Uh, you no, want to just grab some on the side? We'll just put crepes on the side. Yeah, like I'll roll them up and I'll just. We'll just roll them up. Because that's what you do. And we're going to have maple syrup. Just like that. Is that enough? You want another one? That's a good start. You do a little bitty mini one. All right. Ready to turn them off? Yep. Sure you don't want me to flip that? I'm positive. Okay. I don't eat. <laughs> Get all that goodness for dude. All right, and we're done. This is a win, guys. This is a win. And we have one more item that we're gonna we're gonna include in this video. This is the Fizz Kelly, Fizz Kelly, Fizz Kelly, the Fizz Kelly Chef's knife. Very nice pack. This would make a fantastic like wedding gift. It is a stainless steel blade. Very, very nice. It's not very heavy at all. It's a full tang handle, meaning the blade is all the way down through here. But the handle itself, I think that it appears to be a synthetic material. There's no seams, which means it will be easier to keep it sanitary. So we're going to turn this over to Yappy and let her do her thing. And I don't have a big tomato, but I am going to, tomatoes are the key when you're slicing. Oh my gosh, it just, look, I didn't even press. I'm just, this, this is amazing. Guys, I'm not even, I'm just, I'll be, I'm barely touching it. It's just slicing it. Look at that. Yeah, this is. Let's see how thin I get this. Hang on. This is one of the best knives I've ever used. And I'm serious, dude. This is actually one of the best knives I've ever. Look at this. Look how thin that is. All right. Let's do some kids. Oh, my gosh. Nope. I'm not having to hardly push at all. Oh, my goodness. This is nice. Look at that blade. Look at that handle. And this this handle is good because I've had some knives where the handles are kind of goofy, so I'm cutting, and I have another one, a very expensive knife. This is perfect. All right, now we're gonna get some celery. I think we might need an onion. This is some celery I gotta cook off today. Like I said, we're not eating any of these, so we're gonna just goes through it like butter, guys. I'm not, I'm no pressure. Look, I'm not. Now that's not a safe way to cut, but I just want you to see how easy this is. I mean, I'm not having to use any pressure. This is unbelievable. Okay, let me get an onion. I will rinse this off because I will use this onion later tonight for dinner. Let me get that. Let me get this out of the way. Dude, this is amazing. That celery, I didn't even have to press. Be careful with this knife. This one is, I'm not using any, look, no pressure hardly. This, I have to say, this is probably one of the best knives I've ever used. And I'm not saying that just to be nice. I can't even believe, look, one hand. <laughs> Unbelievable. Keep out of reach of children. Yeah, this is, this look, This will take a finger, guys. This one is, yeah, this is the real deal right here. This, I can tell, is a real chef. Like I said, chef's knife. I have a very expensive knife. 
it cuts well, this is, is doing better. And I'm not putting any pressure right now behind this. Now, but it's a little more than the other items because it's an onion. Yeah, this thing, this is a win. Get one of these. This, th I want more of these. <laughs> so this is, I, 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 I would, I'm shocked because this is way beyond what I thought it was gonna do. Cause I was like, oh, it's a knife, no big deal. This is a great knife. This will be one I use every day, literally. <laughs> you heard it from the professional. I think that brings us to the end of this cooking in the cooking with yappy edition of Friday's finds. Uh, we got two great cooking pans. Give us, I'd like to give a special shout out of thanks to the people that the companies that made this video possible. We got our our two different pans. Both of them passed her test. Clean water. I'm really liking that. We got the, the really sharp knife. And I mentioned the wooden utensils. So I'll have a link to all of these items. There'll be a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the, our Amazon influencer page. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Friday's Finds. If you found some value or interest, please click on that thumbs up. <laughs> Share it, blast it out across the social media universe. That really helps us out. And if you've not already, we'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another edition of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. If you've already subscribed, Thank you. We really appreciate it. We, we wouldn't be doing this thing in the kitchen if it wasn't for y'all. So thank you for that opportunity. And for our patrons. I'm inside, I don't have a cover on, so I can't give you that salute, but we sure appreciate you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?